Well, good morning. Mm. Welcome to the vlog today. Or the whatever this turns out to be, which is possibly nothing because every time I try and do these types of vlogs, nothing happens. But we're gonna try. So, this morning I am headed over. Uh, as my coffee is spilling everywhere. <laughs> to do an ACTH stem test which is to see if my cortisol levels if my adrenal glands produce cortisol appropriately so one of the things that I've been struggling lately with is maintaining my blood sugar and blood sugar is actually regulated by cortisol so the problem is that I'm on steroids frequently throughout the year because my asthma is pretty pretty bad and we have a hard time controlling it. So I'm on steroids pretty often. And every time that you're on steroids, which mimic cortisol, your body stops producing cortisol the way that it should. So I know I had an episode in December around Christmas time. I had just come off of a long steroid taper and I kept crashing like my blood sugar kept like absolutely tanking and so I met with an endocrinologist and he diagnosed me with adrenal insufficiency and I was on steroids for probably six weeks earlier this year and I just hated it I don't like the way they make me feel and other other problems that being on steroids creates. So I asked if we could do this ACTH stem test to to see if I really do have adrenal insufficiency. Because if I need to be on steroids, that's one thing. If my body is not producing the cortisol that my body needs, then yes, I need to be on steroids. But if there's a chance that my body is doing it by itself, I don't want to be on steroids. I don't think anybody wants to be on steroids. So we're going to do the ACTH stem test and see how my body does. So I'm hoping to record some and let you guys see how the procedure goes. I think what they do is they get an initial level of cortisol, they give you a shot of the ACTH stem whatever, which is supposed to stimulate cortisol production, and then they'll do some blood draws at certain intervals to see how your body has responded to that. So, let's see how it goes. And I'll be back in just a little bit. I guess it's a medication suite and waiting for the nurse to come and check me in. Alright, so I just got my blood pressure taken and the nurse is going to explain what, what their procedure is. Alright, so first we're going to draw some baseline lab values. Um, and then after that, we'll get the drugs from the pharmacy and administer that. After the drugs are administered, we check lab values two more times at a 30 minute time point from the injection and at a 60 minute time point from the injection. Okay. So I'm just going to print out the labs now. Okay. And will I get my results today or do I get that from my doctor? From your doctor. Okay. Um, because it does take a little bit for the lab to okay. assess the values. Gotcha. Good to know. The nurse just went down the hall to get my medication and she'll be back. She said it's a two minute infusion. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that and we'll be back. So 
it's been about 15 minutes since she gave me the ACTH stimulator. I guess cortisol. I guess it's, I mean, that's what the, anyway. Let me see what it says. Oh, cor cortrosin. Cortrosin. Um, I feel a little bit weird, like my stomach hurts a little bit, and I'm a little nauseous, and maybe a little lightheaded. It almost feels like my blood sugar is low, so I have a little snack, just in case, and it's like another 15 minutes, and she'll come and draw my blood again. Alright, it has been... 30 minutes since the injection of the whatever it was and so we're going to do the first blood draw and then I'll have one more blood draw 30 minutes from now. All right so I just finished up my test it was another like 30 minutes and they did another blood draw and that was it it was really simple and straightforward so the only side effect I had like a little bit of nausea and stomach pain but I don't know could have been from the, the medication or not she said most people don't really have any side effects from it so who knows but I'm hoping to hear from my doctor by the end of the week to see how I did and I will let you guys know as soon as I find out so I got the results of my ACTH stem test and it showed that I do not have adrenal insufficiency, which is great news because I hate being on steroids. Like I said earlier, I just hate the way they make me feel. They make me gain weight. And so it looks like my adrenal glands are functioning like they're supposed to. And I do not need to be on steroids, at least for right now. So that's great news. So they did two different labs when I first arrived. The first was an ACT8 hormone level and mine was 36.9, which is well within range. And the first AC, no, the first cortisol level, had to think about that for a second. The first cortisol level was 9.1. And then 30 minutes after they gave me the cortrosin, it was 20.2. And then 30 more minutes later, it was 21.6. And I'll go ahead and insert those numbers here so you can see them. So that's it. Uh, really happy that I was able to get the test done, show that I don't need steroids. So moving forward, we still have to figure out what exactly is causing my blood sugar to drop. But for now, they seem to be stable. So we'll see how things go from here. If you have any questions about the ACTH STEM test, be sure to leave them down below in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos on chronic illness. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.